What is the best way we can create a website? Is it learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? <laughs> Haven't I taught you anything on this channel so far? No. We go on Fiverr.com and buy $5 websites. That's how we do it. So that's why we're gonna do this episode. We're gonna go on Fiverr.com and we're gonna buy a few uh, websites and we're gonna take a look at what we get. And before we get into the first website, I do wanna show you the messages I talked to this guy. And obviously I'm gonna keep all of their names private uh, for security reasons, okay? So let's take a look. This one is called, I will build you a professional WordPress website for your business. Whew, already excited. So obviously I choose the $5 here, uh, the basic plan, just like me, I'm basic. Uh, and I thought this would work perfectly. So look at that, straight out of the bat, we get responsive design, Whew, check. We have three pages created for us, so that's really good. Plugins and extensions, we have two, and delivery time is two days. Well, I'll let you know that it didn't take two days, it only took two hours. Okay, here are the messages. So I tried to be even more convenient towards this guy and I wrote to him, I only need one page. I don't need three. I don't need anything else. Just one simple page, however you want. So you have to create the freedom to do whatever you want. And he wrote to me, yes, but it's so less and I need to sit in WordPress and do, <laughs> do you have a domain and hosting? Please make it $30. $30? I thought this was the basic plan for $5. So I wrote to him, basic says $5, basic I want. Simple one page WordPress. And he says, oh, I see, I'm new here. I have no idea how gigs work, that's why. And that got me thinking a bit. Aren't you the one that sets up your plans with how many pages you want with, with the price and everything? I'm guessing you set that up and Fiverr doesn't do it for you. So you should know your prices. So that was kind of strange. Let's assume that I was not trying to be scammed. But nevertheless, I moved on. I said, Hup, it's okay. And then he said, but can you leave me a tip? What you like, I will start working. So the funny thing here is <laughs> that we didn't even talk about my project so far, right? The first thing he asked me, he asked for more money. And the second thing he says is, can you leave a tip before we get going? And yeah, that's a very good way that you can set up a good client relationship. All right, the wonderful thing is he actually sent me a link with the website, so let's take a look. Ed.dreamdev.com, I like the way that sounds. So it's loading up. Um, it's kind of taking a, a while here. My internet is quite fast. I have one gigabyte internet, so I'm not sure why is it taking, oh, there we go. Wait a minute. This is not my website. What's happening? All right, so I wrote to him and he said that he actually took it down because he had to do somebody else's work. So then I asked him if he can put it up again, but I never really got a response. So what I did is I got the VPress file. Uh, I think he migrate, he used a plugin to actually um, put out this VPress file. So I installed MAMP on my local server and everything. And I just imported that with a plugin that he used. And I finally got it working. So let's close up the other side here. And this is what we got. Take a look, Brad Trabery. I know. Uh, hello, my name is Brad Trabery and my passion is photography and animals. I love to see and visualize everything and capture it forever. Ooh, here's a picture set, blah, blah, blah. My goals are to travel around Europe and beauty of each country on my camera. Join on this adventure. And here are some pictures that I took. So very basic. So as you can see, there, there's not much styling or anything going on here. Uh, this kind of just kind of copy pasted everything here and yeah, just a few pictures. There's some weird empty spaces here. So I'm not sure what happened here. And we also got this footer. But to be honest, uh, this this guy uh, clearly has like zero knowledge of web development. So all he did was probably just install a WordPress plugin uh, and just dropped in the text that I gave him, which is this. And he just dropped in the pictures and that's it. So yeah, okay, let's take a look. <laughs> well, let's take a look if this is a, at least slightly mobile friendly. I'm gonna make this smaller. Oh, take a look. We do have some mobile friendliness here. Okay, what does this do? <laughs> it doesn't do anything, of course. So that's great. 
Um, all right, so let's take a look at the pictures because I saw something weird and I kind of want to show it to you. So when we're kind of in large screen like so, we get this cool effect on the pictures. So as you can see, we have the pictures, but when we we make the smaller, they kind of disappear. <laughs> However, the problem is that they disappear and sometimes they do that or sometimes they never even come back. So they just stay disappear forever. So let's take a look. We have these two pictures of me standing up and uh, looking and smiling at the camera. Let's make this smaller. I kind of want to make sure. All right, jumps down there. Never mind. Sometimes it did for me and sometimes it didn't. As you can see, we don't don't have the dog picture anymore. So there's some weird things going on here. But <laughs> all right, so that's it. That's the first one. Was it worth the money? To be honest, not really. I spent too much time with actually getting the WordPress thing up and make this run so you can so I can show it to you. Now the second one was actually straightforward and the messages are not really interesting, so I'm not gonna show it to you. But it was I just asked for the same thing, like the Brad Trabery one, and he just said, Okay, I'll do it, no problem. So there we go, this is the second one, and this guy actually took time to build it out in HTML and CSS, which I really appreciate, okay? He didn't just drop in a WordPress theme in there and called it a day. He actually hosted this one for me and also gave me these HTML and CSS files. So take a look at this, already a bit better. I'm not sure if I provided this flower picture, but hey, it is what it is. I appreciate that he also did a bit of shadow on the white text to make this pop a bit more. We have a simple grid here with an about and again, kind of the same text that I did. A nice picture of me here on the right with the dog there in the corner and just a, a, a bit nicer grid going on here. So as you can see, it kind of keeps everything um, here. They have the same space, which makes it look nice. Even here where, where we have three pictures, as you can see, because these are longer, these are kind of landscape mode, these are portrait mode. So he fitted three of them in here, but as you can see, they never extend this grid that he created, which is really nice. So he probably used Bootstrap for this, I assume, or CSS grid. We're gonna take a look at this, but as you can see, this is kind of very nicely organized. And we have also like a small little footer here, uh, which is which is good. All right, so let's take a look. Let's just jump in quickly into, into the source files here and let's take a look at what he used. All right, so we have our body here. Let's open the header here and yeah, there we go. As you can see, we have bootstrap going on here. We have jQuery. I'm not sure why we have jQuery, but we're going to take a look if something is interactive here because this would be a library that is not really necessary to be imported in a super simple website like this. There's nothing moving or going on. All right, and then other than that, it's just simple, simple bootstrap. Yep, we have a container, we have rows, colored containers, and all the good stuff. So, okay, we have the bootstrap. I, I do want to see very quickly if yeah, there's nothing interactive here. So the jQuery could have been taken completely out. Let's take a look at mobile view. All right, still looks good. Okay, yep, everything looks very nice. Now, to be honest, for $5, uh, this has been quite good. I, I am not complaining. The design is very simple. That's completely fine. Again, it's $5. Let's keep that in mind. But at least everything is structured. Everything works the way it should work. And when we have everything responsive, that's also very fine. The one thing I would remove though is the jQuery plugin because that's not necessary. Okay, for the last one, I switched my persona. I'm not Brad Trabery anymore. I'm Dimitri Marco and I'm a male model. So that's gonna be my persona for this one. Okay, let's take a look at the messages because this is kind of funny again. Okay, so this guy basically asked me how I want my website to look. And again, I gave him the creative freedom to do whatever he wants. I said, do whatever you want. I, I don't understand anything about websites or design. So have fun. And then he wrote to me that I will de develop a high quality content. I'll use Team WordPress. I'll provide you the hosting and domain, but I will charge you a little bit more expensive. So I said, don't worry, just give me some HTML and CSS. Very simple. I'll do the hosting and everything on my own. Okay. So he said, yeah, even better. How many pages? I said one. And he said, yes, I would increment work for $20. And at, at this point I was like, yo, 
what is this? I'm asking, I'm doing the basic package again for $5, one page or two pages, very simple. And they keep asking me for more money. I said, I paid for the basic version, one page. I don't get it. I, I'm going to ask for a refund. And then he said, you just threatened me. And Fiverr has a very strict policies for threats. Though I'll create it, I don't get angry. <laughs> so I said, I'm not threatening you. If you put on your website that you're selling it for $5, then that's what I should get, right? You don't go to a store and you buy something from $20. And when you go to the counter, they ask you for 50. And I said, I'm not threatening you. Your basic plan says $5 for one page with source code. You wrote it. And he said, I thought you were asking for this place, website, something more elegant. That's why I made an offer for $5. Threaten me again and I will go to Fiverr support, support and cancel this project. I'm a professional developer with five years plus experience and I'm not slave to a person who has $5 in his pockets. You want some work done? Try to behave and humanly matter. Again, I have no problem with this. Ask for more money. Put it there on your website on Fiverr. Put it that you ask $50. I will give you the $50, just let me know. But don't put $5 and they, then you say that you, it's $20. That makes no sense. Ask for more money from the start. Anyway, after all of that, he just said, delivery by midnight. <laughs> all right, to be honest, this is one of the best $5 websites I have gotten ever. And this is worth it. It's so good, I'm gonna put it up on my main website and you're gonna be able to see it. So check it out in the description. So let's take a look. Doom, here we go, take a look. Dimitri Marco, an Italian model. And there's my face right there in the corner on the O. Ooh, I like that. That kinda, I like that. Cause then when you see me, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, oh, okay. So that's good. We have the thunder. That's an expression of my Italian swag. All right, we have a home about contacts. This is perfect, I like the way this looks. Read more, click. Oh, okay. Let, I don't wanna read more, let's close that up. Let's go down here, biography. My name is Dimitri Marco, model located in Italy. I will provide services including commercials, editorials, and semi-nudes. So we can contact now. Contact me at Dimitri Marco at Gmail if you do want to do business and discuss a price. So here is me. I actually took these pictures off of my Instagram. Let's take a look. But this looks great. I love this picture here. It's so expressive. Some images of Marco, not Polo, expressing his feelings through the camera. True, true the ca Okay, never mind. Take a look. Take a look right there. Right there. This is how I feel about my YouTube channel. All right, let's zoom out here. Ooh, we even have a carousel here. Click. Ooh, all right. Perfect, everything works just fine. Copyright by Infinix at, okay. Infinix, okay, cool. Let's take a look at these links. Do they do, they do something? No, no, not even the contact? No, <laughs> all right, too bad. But other than that, this is, this is highly impressive. Let's take a look if it's mobile friendly. Oh, take a look at that. Even mobile friendly. Ooh, we got so much out of this. Uh, these don't work. No. All right, other than that, take a look at that. Take a look at $5, okay? What do you want more? Everything's perfect. The grid, nobody cares about the grid. Screw the grid. I just want to have the first two pictures. That's fine for me. But that's it. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put this up on Netlify for your enjoyment. But there we go. So what have we learned from today? Well, we learned multiple lessons. One, you should put higher prices if you feel like your work deserves more money. And the second thing we learned is that you get what you paid for. So if you pay five dollars for a website, you're gonna get a five dollar website. If you pay a hundred dollars, you're probably gonna get something better, right? Uh, because professionally made websites take a lot more into consideration than these. Even though I like the last one, okay? Dimitri Marco will live on forever. Uh, they take a lot more consideration. So how the design flows together, uh, your, what's your call to action on the website, your website identity with the logo and everything of that sort. And if you wanna support me, you can do it on Patreon. There's gonna be a link in the description. I recently added uh, more and more source codes uh, from my coding video. So if you want to access all those files, they're going to be in there. And also I'm going to add the offline videos 
as well. And I also did a special discussion type video uh, for you guys talking about frameworks and vanilla JavaScript. So that's already posted there that you can watch on Patreon. And until next time, Dimitri Marco is out.